so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. sell out within five minutes every time. Regardless of who's fighting, the English fans show up. They love fights, they're very understanding. They show up every single time. They're knowledgeable, they're ready to cheer, but don't be crazy, they will boo you out of that building. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated, I mean, it's a very big variety. Nice double leg, nice finish. And now is where things could get really interesting. Oh, submission attempt here. He's fighting. He wants this badly. Oh, he's got that submission locked in. He's in real trouble. Got it. it looks tight. It looks like he's going to get this. Marco Medov's right back to the full mount here. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. North-south position now, making all these shots count. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, Huge response from the crowd, no surprise. Man. I love I love all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're gonna get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Great job not only reversing the position, but getting to your dominant position. He will let his opponent stand up here. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA kind of like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early this year. Immediately gets the underhook. And they separate. Another takedown land. We'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot. Look at him. He's setting up a choke now. Look at that. He's setting it up. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. Man, great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. And that's that's the danger in the engagement there. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Oh, jabs in bunches here, splits the guard there, and continuing to keep his opponent at distance, courtesy of that crisp jab. All right, late round action here. Khabib Nurmagomedov continuing to dominate the action. Beautiful transitions, and I'm not sure anybody mixes the wrestling and the grappling as well as this guy. I mean, he's just so tough. He's willing to go through the fire in order to get the fight to the ground. He's been able to do that. He is one of the strongest fighters I have ever grappled with. The guy has tremendous strength. It's not just the strength, it's the technical skills on the ground. That is a... Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Yep, thank you. Good job by the champ there. Slide back out. Oh, the ground and pound is there. We're winning here. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Create a scramble. Let's go. And now 
he's a tip to choke. Oh, Dolph's choke locked and loaded. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Nicely done. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. You ready to fight? Ready. Go all right, round two. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this round. He had a big effort there in round one. Really had the wrestling on full display. John, if he was looking to come out here, secure takedown, to feel good about the way things were going, he gets an A on his report card. Because takedown after takedown was secured, top position was secured, and as you watch that clock start to go up for top control, him and his team are ecstatic. Because yeah. they know when they're on top, when they're secure takedowns, they're with. Go Medov's in half court. He's got to start throwing now. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Nermanko Medov's back in half guard. Very comfortable here. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Oh, it looks like he's setting up for a finish here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Both fighters get up now. Oh, he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really. Start to finish tonight. Did it in the previous round. And picking up right where he left off here. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Marco Medov's in half goal. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You've got to be careful. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Now he's going full mount. Got to watch his neck. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. Dirty boxing here. Oh, how good is that hook? He lands another one here. He's connected on several in this round. Plenty more where that came from, to be sure. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Oh, Kimura attack. Yup. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, he slipped the arm out. What an escape. He's 
flipped his arm out, and now he lives to fight another day. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard, and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big grounded pound. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after it. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Oh, nice. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the this feet. This is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Back and forth we go. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of when he presses. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Take down there by Navago Meta. All right, so there it is again, much like he did in the previous round, able to land that hook really at will. Over and over and over and over, he is landing that very same punch, whether it's to the body or to the head. He just does a fantastic job of finding the hook. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Uh, elbow to the head right out of the clinch. Good work there by Nermago Meta. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, right into mount. Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm ball. Arm in very tight. No, oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Strong reversal there. What a strike from off of his back. Got to be very careful there. Just over three minutes to go. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. 
and a knee. Back in the clinch, look for him to hang on his opponent's heads and try to wear his cast. Nice crack there. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, fighter lands a punch to the head out of the clinch position. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Again, that body kick, that body kick is going to really take effect on him. And it won't take very long. He's going to get it. Oh, it's tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and was showed in that defense. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. There it is. Now he's running him out. Watch on bar here. He's got it isolated. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Right to the knee on belly. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is going to be stopped. Back mount now. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Namago Medov. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Waning seconds here of round number three. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You know, few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a submission, and he nearly had one there. He almost had it. He had it locked in. He thought the fight was over, but his opponent was able to escape. But the next time, if he goes back to that position, maybe he gets the finish he wants so bad. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down to and with a third. Goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Mm, that was nice. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't see is flat on your back, you be up on an elbow, right. and you'll be half guard. Oh, my God, he's hurt. He's hurt. Eats a jab there. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Oh, nice. Oh, he could be a one-eyed fighter here pretty soon. That left eye starting to shut. fight, he landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. 
in the half guard. Getting the ball here. All right, setting up for an on bar now. Oh, he's got the on bar deep. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. This is a terrible position. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. That was a slick transition. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his strike. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish. He does a great job of doing just that. Lands by Nanago Meta. All right, so a similar blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Big ground and pound. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Back to the feet now. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Back to the clinch. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, that gilly is tight. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Von Flu. He's got the side mount. Oh, great submission defense. Way here I mean, you gotta shove that knee, John. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. Now he's going full mount. Oh, he's setting up an on bar now. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. you got to maintain the dominant position when you're in a fight. Right. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. Great job. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Here we go, fifth and final round. All right, so here we go with our next round. Certainly a seminal moment in that previous round as he rocked him and nearly got him out of there. We'll see who has the upper hand now here moving forward. That was a huge moment for him in that round. He found his shot, rocked his opponent, couldn't get the finish, but he had to feel good walking back to the corner and now getting back off of the stool to start the next round. Landing a good series of strikes here. Single leg takedown, nicely done there. Ground and pound strike there now. By working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Back to the stand up now, both fighters upright. What a tricky head kick. Hands high, hands high. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice body shot. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here before he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. 
Take down defenses there. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Finds a home for the left hand there. Nurmago Medoff gets hit by that left kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. He's trying to control posture here. Attempting a choke now. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Neon belly, big strikes landing here. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. The position of the underhook opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent, and hook. Double leg takedown lands. All right, close guard now. Nermanko Medov's in half guard, trying to set up a choke here. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. to keep the dominant position. Working out of the half guard here. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. Nice transition. All hard as he gets back to his feet. Late in this final round, we'll see if he can rally. Let's see if he can rally. It's going to be difficult, but hey, he's got a chance, and that's all you can ask for. Double leg. Stuffed. Marco Medov's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Thirty seconds in the round. All right, let's go, let's go. Work. Thirty seconds left. Nice job to control the range and using his reach advantage to that to get that punch on. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Leg kick lands nicely done. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Another big takedown. All right, so a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected. 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion, but that's why he's the champion. Because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets a